Welcome to Taking Care of Business on Kern Radio News Talk 1180 with your host, Clay Kerner, and I'm Marty Pay. Clay, we are live in studio. That's right, and we're both business professionals, according to that ad. Yes, well, hey, listen, you know, when you write your own program, you can say anything you want, just about. (laughs) Well, for the last two weeks, we've been taped. We had Michael Reagan on last week, which was a great show, and the week before that, we had Eric Metaxas on, the author of uh, Bonhoeffer, and those were taped shows, so... uh, We're live for the next couple weeks. In studio, we've got Kathy Butler, Bob Bell, Gina Martinez from the Downtown Bakersfield Property Owners Association. But before we introduce them, uh, we need to do a few little housekeeping items. Uh, As many of you know, the situation in Egypt is getting interesting. Uh, President Mubarak resigned from his party leadership, but he didn't resign from the presidency. So next weekend, our guest is going to cover the Middle East and the Obama presidency. Uh, Among other topics, he's an old friend of mine, uh, Professor William Allen. Those of you that have been around for a while, Bill was the Human Rights Commissioner under President Reagan, and he ran for the Senate about 20 years ago and lost the Republican nomination to, I think it was Seymour. I'm really, really looking forward to this interview. It should be pretty good. And speaking of President Reagan, we've got a birthday celebration this weekend. Uh, Former President, or actually former President Reagan would, would have been 100 years old. Uh, tomorrow, and what did uh, what did Mike say about his dad? He said his dad wouldn't be there for the celebration. He'd be he'd Super be at the Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> well, you know, when you talk about the Super Bowl, I got to thank uh, the Green Bay Packers for winning because by winning, the Chicago Bears aren't going, and so Obama won't be going, <laughs> <laughs> saving the taxpayers millions of dollars. This is true. This is true. And speaking of Monday. Uh, they're going to have the grand reopening of the Reagan Museum. I'm going to be there, and Newt Gingrich is going to be doing a book signing on Monday night, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. And you have something going on Tuesday, right? Yeah, Marty, Tuesday and Thursday, I've got a uh, one, two, three college program, and what we do is we help kids uh, find scholarships and grants. Now, Tuesday at 6 o'clock at the Bakersfield Petroleum Club that's on the 12th floor down here in Bakersfield, we're going to be hosting a bunch of students and their parents for a free seminar if anyone's interested. They need to show up because this is a great opportunity to find out how you can get money, how you can get grants, how you can increase your SAT and ACT, a number of different programs that we're going to be giving to the students, and information about how to find uh, different programs within the educational system. Did you ever take the SAT? I did. I won't tell you my score. (laughs) <laughs> but Silence. I also got my GED, I told you, last, yeah. m- last year. Yeah, and the 12th grade was the three hardest years of your life. Well, I remember you talking. Sixth grade. Remember, oh, I was I athlete okay. of the year three times in the sixth That's grade. That's right. I remember you talking about that before. Okay. I never took an SAT, oddly enough. I don't know why. I just never worked out. I never needed to for some strange reason. But, you know, I'm waiting for you to make an age joke about it. You know, in those days, we didn't have to take the SAT or something like that. But okay. I'm tired today, Marty. Good, good. Let's good. get to our guests. Yes, let's get to our guests. Kathy Butler, Gina Martinez, and Bob Bell from the Downtown Bakersfield Business Association. Kathy, this is the second time we've had you in studio. Yes, and I'm back. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> and looking <laughs> as nice as ever. Much. Well, thank you very much. Go Red. Go yeah, Red. Go that's red. right. Go that's red. right. It's supposed to be red today for the... Uh, Actually, yesterday, I think no, it was red well, Yesterday or today. I, I was yesterday. at a... You're going to have to bear with me if I seem a little tongue-tied. I was at a uh, concert last night. I saw uh, Reba McIntyre... George Strait. Strait, and you can tell I'm not a uh, Leanne Leanne Warmick. You can tell I'm not a country person, but anyways, we didn't get back till about two two thirty last night. So, so anything I say, I'm not responsible for. So you 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 know who I'm talking about? Yes, yeah. I've actually seen Reba McIntyre locally. Oh, you have? Yes. Okay. Oh, she really she good was great. concert. She was really really yes. great. What what an entertainer she is. So. So I'm not responsible for any snafus I may make today. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about the uh, Downtown Businessmen's Association. Bob, you're the chairman, right? I am. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's my fourth year. We can't find anybody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be kind. I was going to say that, and I thought, no, 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 having been there before. So tell me about where, what direction. Actually, I have, I have a more important question for you than that before we get into sure, that. Please. Who do you like tomorrow? Uh, actually, and get a little closer uh, my, to the mic. My there. my son and I are uh, a little bit split on this, but I'm going to pick Green Bay. Okay, and you, are you giving the two points? Uh, sure, I'll give the two points. Well, two well, and a half, isn't it? That yeah. Was spread this morning, forty-five. The over/under. Yeah. She will. Ha- we'll have to talk at a break, Bob. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, what what direction do you see the uh, 
association going? Well, a uh, 57-year-old association. I don't know if you know that. Yes. About that. Mm-hmm. A remarkable association. Um, I think the way that we're headed is we, um, uh, with a great board, Kathy, uh, Gina, others that have helped uh, make this happen, I think our heading is toward agreement. Mm-hmm. Maybe for the first time in 57 years, we are assembling property and business owners that agree that something uh, has to be done. We have to get certain things accomplished and maybe not wait on city and other governments and other associations. Uh, The DBA has been the lead organization for a long time, but have been hobbled by finances. Uh, We're we're basically a member a ran organization, so we have uh, that, and we've had to figure out ways to keep our doors open. Keep our doors open because the cost of serving the community is um, is rather high, and so we have been remarkably creative in these last six months. And I think we're we're on to something, and um, going to loosen us up to do some great services for our mm-hmm. for our members and for the community at large, not just our members, but doing right by this what we call the heart of our city, sure, our downtown. Now, when you say the heart of the city, uh, I, I talked to Kathy the other day. I guess we're looking at the heart is the the businesses in the downtown area, and then you kind of kind of expand that heart towards the other businesses in the surrounding area and go beyond your natural limits. Is that what you're looking at doing? We're looking at people that do business downtown. Okay. Because if the businesses downtown do well, then they will support the businesses that do business with them. Okay, so let me clarify that. So in other <laughs> words, you're, you're looking at getting as members businesses that may not be downtown, but as long as they do business downtown. Anyone can join, okay. actually, our association. Okay. Good. But Good. Um, we have found that there's a lot of people that have an interest downtown, that they service the businesses that are downtown, and they want to see them successful. And when you have a strong heartbeat, you have a healthy community. Mm-hmm. And we are the heart of Bakersfield. Sure. Definitely And so are. we're inviting people to be a part of our heart by mm-hmm. supporting the heart. Well, that, that sounds like a, a great time for a commercial, speaking of which. Uh, what, when is your uh, next event? We have the State of the Downtown Breakfast, and that will be on Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. supporting the heart. And it will be from 7.30 a.m. to 9 at the Marriott, mm-hmm. and that's Monday, February 14th. And where can people find out more information about that? On our website at bakersfielddba.net and um, information, or on our Facebook page, which is Bakersfield Downtown Business Association. Mm-hmm. It's a Facebook slash Bakersfield Downtown Business Association. Um, I don't think we have a vanity URL yet, so they would have to go to Facebook, and then it would be Bakersfield Downtown Business mm-hmm. Association. And Gina, where do, you, where do you fit into the association? What's your role? Um, I've come in, and I, I guess we wear many hats in the association <laughs> because we're a nonprofit, so... I do many things. I have been hired to do um, membership, membership coordinator, and with that we've created new membership levels. And when I was listening to Kathy speak, um, one of the new things that we've added is um, a supporter of downtown. We realized that maybe you don't do business in downtown, but you enjoy coming out for First Fridays or the street fairs, Mm -hmm. any events that we have downtown, and people want this to continue. So we do have a supporter of downtown, which is $50, and that gets you um, invitations to different events that we have, our quarterly newsletter, and all of those things. But I'm there just kind of trying to create a new marketing campaign for the DBA and um, creating new membership levels and benefits. I'm Mm -hmm. also a small business owner, so when I first came in, I was volunteering just to kind of give a voice to the small businesses downtown. And what, what's your business? What do you do? Caffeine Supreme. It's the old Supreme Bean on F and 20th. Yes, I'm very familiar with the yes. place. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and Bob, what do you do for a living? Actually, I shouldn't put it that way because you probably spend as much time on the nonprofit as you do in your own business. I, I do. I, I know how that, that one yeah, goes. I, mm-hmm. uh, I serve as uh, uh, the vice president of the Bakersfield Rescue Mission as well as our DBA. I serve on our board at our church, of Valley Bible Fellowship, so very busy in my nonprofit endeavors. And then I own a number of businesses, actually. Mm-hmm. I'm a developer, um, so I own several properties downtown and in other areas of the city. We own a building firm. We own a cabinet company. Uh-huh. We own an architectural firm. We own a, a health care finance company. So a lot of different ventures mm-hmm. that I do. Uh, but my heart is downtown. Yeah. You know, that's you know, we really love our nonprofits. Yeah. We love taking care of them and serving them. 
let's talk about the nonprofits. And we, we want to talk a little bit about the rescue mission, too. We had Baldo in here. And uh, the redevelopment that. issue Absolutely. is a big issue. We'll talk about that in a minute when we get back. This is 1180 Kern Radio News Talk, taking care of business. We'll be back in a minute.